Most swimmers don't know that you have to change your stroke when you swim in open water. If you think that mastering open water swimming is as easy as just hopping in the lake or ocean and swimming, you're wrong. Whether you're training for an open water race or you just want to mix up your swimming routine, don't go in blind. To help you conquer your first open water swim, I'm going to break down 10 things you absolutely need to know before you first swim in a lake, river, or ocean. Okay, let's get started. First up, open water is nothing like pool swimming, which can be pretty overwhelming. There's no lane lines, there's no walls to push off, and you'll have to deal with waves, currents, and of course, limited visibility. Especially Especially in lakes, you probably won't be able to see more than a few feet in front of you, if that. And that can be really disorienting at first. So depending on your experience level, these types of water conditions might impact your overall swimming performance. Now, if you're new to open water swimming, you probably won't be able to swim quite as far as you could in the pool, and that's okay. Just mentally prepare yourself for your first open water swim to be a little bit different. And that's the beauty of open water swimming. You get to be in a totally different body of water, become one with nature, and get a workout in. So enjoy it. Because open water swimming is so different, it requires some extra planning ahead of time. And that's tip number two. Going open water swimming isn't as simple as picking a spot and hopping in. You have to do a little bit of research to make sure the spot you're going to swim in is safe. Make sure you consider beach access, tides, and boat traffic in your search. It's probably not safe to try to swim at a beach that's known for choppy water or lots of boat traffic. Let the boats do their thing. Take it a step further and plan out your swim route as well. Where will you get in? How far will you swim before turning around? Are there buoys that you can swim along with to keep you on track? Do a quick Google search for popular open water swimming spots in your area or ask fellow swimmers at the pool for recommendations. The chances are, if you go to a popular spot, you're gonna find a few open water experienced swimmers who can help you pick the best route. Tip number three takes the planning process a step further. Make sure you have proper gear before you swim. Open water swim gear is just as much about safety as it is about performance. If you will be swimming in cold water, consider getting a wetsuit and make sure you have the proper goggles. If you know you'll be swimming on sunny days, invest in a pair of darker mirrored goggles to protect your eyes so that you can spot. And for detailed tracking while you swim, you gotta consider getting a smartwatch. Wearing one will make it easier to track how far you swam so you don't end up staying in the water too long. Download the My Swim Pro app on your Apple Watch or Garmin to track your open water swims and then see a detailed map of your route after every swim. And no matter what, always make sure you wear a bright colored swim cap and have a safety buoy for extra visibility and flotation if you get tired. Your buoy is a great place to hide a few snacks for a mid-swim energy boost if you choose. Okay, so now that you've geared up, it's time for tip number four, and that is to grab a buddy. Swim buddies make open water workouts so much more fun, and they're also really important for safety. I do not recommend swimming in open water alone, especially if you're new. So you've got to grab a friend or a few friends and just make a swimming plan and go out together. If you don't have any friends who swim, invite a friend to kayak or paddleboard with you. And that's super common in open water so that you have more visibility when you're swimming if there's a lot of boat traffic especially. Now, if all else fails, have a friend sit on the beach and watch you swim. Or you could ask a lifeguard to keep an eye out for you. Just make sure that someone knows your route and they can jump into action if anything happens. Now, it's time to hop in the water. So my fifth tip is probably one of the most important parts of open water swimming. You need to learn how to vary your stroke depending on the water conditions. So in the pool, it's a controlled environment that doesn't really have any variation. In open water, it's a whole different animal and depending on the waves, you'll have to adjust how you swim to make your workout more enjoyable and potentially just survive the elements. So when the water is choppy, you want to swim with a higher stroke rate with shorter and more shallow strokes. And this can help you stay closer to the surface and have better control. When the water is calm, you can really lengthen out your stroke and take deeper pulls. This will be more similar to what you do in the pool. Now swapping between these different strokes will take some practice, so don't worry if you haven't really mastered your open water stroke and cadence right away. Take breaks and tread water when you need to. You can even switch to backstroke or breaststroke for a little bit to catch your breath and realign yourself. 
If anything, I recommend doing your first open water swims on days when the water is calm. If it looks like chaos out there, maybe it's okay to stick to the pool, but really make sure you push yourself and go a little bit out of your comfort zone to give it a try. Okay, I think I lied. Tip number six might actually be the most important, and that is you need to swim in a straight line. It's so easy to swim straight in the pool. As long as your eyes aren't closed, you just stare at that black line. But all of that goes out the window when you go to open water. You need to make one more tweak to your stroke to make sure you don't zigzag all over the place in the open water. And this skill is called sighting. So every 10 to 20 strokes or less, you're gonna lift your head and look forward to where you wanna go. You wanna find a landmark and swim to it. It could be a pull buoy, but every time you lift your head, you're looking for that landmark or buoy, and then you're gonna know if you're swimming straight. It could be a pier, a building, a tree, anything works. Just make sure it's not moving. So if you're sighting a boat and the boat happens to be moving, well, that's not gonna work for you. Now, this is where planning your route can come in really handy. If you know you're gonna be swimming in a specific direction, confirm with your swimming buddies and your clan that you're all going to sight the same thing. That'll make sure you all end up in the same place. Now this could be every four strokes, six strokes, 10, 20 strokes. Just make sure you're moving in a straight line. Now if you wanna learn more about sighting, check out our video on how to swim straight for more tips. Next, I wanna talk about breathing. Now this is tip number seven. If you don't already breathe on both sides, I recommend getting comfortable doing that. You don't have to be dominant on both sides, but you need to be comfortable because in open water, you may need to swap the side that you breathe on because of the wind and waves and also to help you spin. Spot. When you can easily switch your breathing pattern, you're less likely to inhale water during these rougher swims. You can practice breathing on both sides during pool workouts, and you can add a few different sets where you breathe every three or five strokes, and you can practice breathing on one side for a 25, and then you switch sides on the next 25 in a pool. Now, if you typically breathe to just one side, bilateral breathing might feel uncomfortable at first, but you just need to keep practicing and over time, you're going to get used to it. If you're planning to race in an open water competition or you're gonna swim in a larger group, make sure you pay attention to tip number eight, and that is to learn how to swim in a pack. So in the pool, it's actually pretty easy to circle swim, or if you're lucky enough, you get the lane to yourself, no problem. But in open water, that goes out the window. In a big race or swimming with a lot of other people, swimming can feel absolutely chaotic and overwhelming. There's hundreds of people swimming all around you. So if you aren't careful, you're gonna get kicked in the face and you're probably gonna swim on top of other people or people are gonna swim on top of you. So to have the best experience, make sure you're aware of your surroundings and get comfortable having swimmers all around you. It's sort of like a washing machine. So if people keep passing you, don't worry, just keep swimming and let them go around you. If you need to pass someone, be assertive and make your move. With all the space in the open water, you can maneuver around people to make sure your swim is the best it can be. Don't let yourself get stuck behind someone who's too slow. Grab them by the leg. No, I'm kidding, don't do that. If the swim has a set route, then some people will prefer to stick to the back of the pack or swim off to the side to avoid getting mixed up with the other swimmers. So you just need to experiment to see what you're most comfortable with. And as you gain more experience, you'll have a lot more confidence to go to the front of the pack or pass other swimmers. So once you're comfortable swimming in the group, try experimenting with drafting off other swimmers to reduce resistance and make it easier to swim faster for longer. So if you want to draft, you need to position yourself either directly behind or level with the hip of another swimmer who is a little bit faster than you or you guys are moving about the same speed. Then you just swim as normal and you're gonna get the draft. In most triathlons and open water races, drafting is allowed and it's a good skill to have if you plan to compete. Just make sure the person you choose to draft off is going in the right direction. The last thing you want is someone to take you totally off course and you follow their draft, but now you're way off to the side. If swimming in a group stresses you out, try tip number nine, and that is to relax. Open water swimming can be overwhelming for a variety of reasons. Whether you're caught in a crazy group or you start to panic thinking about all the different creatures in the sea right below you, find a way to relax and return to your stroke. It might be helpful to grab onto your safety buoy and take a few deep breaths to calm yourself down. Or you can try counting your strokes to get your mind off of what's bothering you. Just take it one stroke at a time. Listen to your body and if it's time to get out, honor that. There's always next time. So tip number 10 is all about training. To excel in open water swimming, you need to have some endurance. 
If you're training for a specific open water race, I recommend starting an open water focused training plan that will help you build endurance and then speed for race day. So check out the My Swim Pro app to get a personalized plan for open water races, ranging all the way from 1500 meters, which is an Olympic distance triathlon swim, and then all the way up to 10,000 meters. That's a 10K. So commit to swimming three or four times a week to see the best results. And while it's helpful to swim in open water, when you can, you can absolutely train for open water races in the pool, and I actually recommend that. You can practice sighting and bilateral breathing and add in longer sets to help you build endurance. It's also a lot easier to work on technique when you're in the pool compared to open water. Now I've seen some crazy pool workouts for open water. Some people take out all the lane lines in the pool and swim in a big circle to mimic open water. Other people just swim laps. So don't worry about too much of these details. Just focus on your training. You don't have to get too crazy with your training. Just make sure that your pool training aligns with your goals in open water. And remember, consistency is the most important thing. I'd love to read your favorite open water training tips down below in the comments. So if you like this video, check out other video, five secrets to a faster open water race. I know you're gonna love it. Thanks for watching and happy swimming.